Today, I'm breaking down MCP servers in plain English because I've watched way too many videos using developer jargon that nobody understands. Here's what an MCP server actually is. It's just a middle layer. That's it. MCP is a shortcut for Model Context Protocol, an open standard for AI systems to access external data and tools. It allows AI models, like large language models, LLMs, to interact with various systems, databases, and APIs. This layer lets you access things from external applications through your AI chat. Think of it like this. You have your AI, ChatGPT, Claude, whatever. Now with something like Claude Desktop, you can connect to an MCP server hosted by other software. There are several MCP providers, but let's say we'll use StormMCP at stormmcp.ai. You can literally try it for free with up to 25k tool calls a month, then it's $29 a month or $199 a month. You set up Storm's MCP server and suddenly your AI can access Google Sheets, Gmail, all that stuff through one connection. Click on anything here you want to connect and there you go. So the flow is you talk to Claude Desktop, it connects to the Storm MCP server, which then connects to Gmail. Now AI can manage your email inbox where the MCP server is just that middle layer making it work. You can also pull data the other way. Instead of just sending emails, you can grab information from external databases, run it through this MCP layer, and get it back to your AI. We could always access external data sources, APIs, databases, but using MCP servers is just making this whole process much easier. MCP servers are fun if you're a builder or just someone who wants to push AI past being just a chatbot. You can wire up Gmail, Google Sheets, Notion, even your own databases, then let your AI call those tools directly through Storm MCP. No messy APIs, no custom scripts, just one connection point. So yeah, that's MCP servers, a middle layer for AI to talk to other services. I'll see you in the next video.